Hey troops, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by, Gen Dead Commando here, and today guys, we're going to be reacting to all the wars fought by India from 1947 to the present, okay guys, so really looking forward to this video, it was recommended to me via someone in Discord, so thank you guys, I can't wait for this, hope you can too, before we get into it guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications, we have a Discord community that is thriving now, so if you want to join that and recommend any videos to me, or just have a chat with the rest of the community, link is in the description for that as well troops if you want to buy some merchandise from us we have now got a store as well so link is in the description guys just dig out blind on that but let's just get straight into this video i'm really really looking forward to it guys here India we go has fought a series of wars with her neighboring country since her independence that's true Today in this video we are going to discuss all the wars fought by india in detail hang on that is a cool photograph that is really cool that's a javelin Wow. I think it's a javelin. Is it a javelin? Number six, Indo-Pakistani War of 1947 to 1948. I right, saw so, uh, a one-year war then. It's a shame, you know, the uh, the, the, the countries in and around uh, India, <clears throat> they don't seem to get on too well at the moment. And um, I don't know what those problems are caused by, but um, yeah, it's a shame nonetheless, guys. The Indo-Pakistani War was fought between India and Pakistan over the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir from 1946. Yeah, Kashmir is pretty bad at the moment as well, isn't it? There's loads of... I've been reacting to a few videos from Kashmir and it's, um, it's a hotspot, guys. It's um, one of those things, I guess. ...to 1948. The result of the war was inconclusive. However, most neutral assessments agree that <clears throat> India was the victor of the war. As it okay, so India came out on top then in terms of uh, an assessment of it. Okay. ...was able to successfully defend about two-thirds of the Kashmir, including Kashmir Valley, wow. Jammu, and Ladakh. The inconclusive result of the war still affects the geopolitics of both countries. Yeah. Territorial changes. UN ceasefire line of 1949 later becomes line of control after the Simla Agreement of 1972. Okay. Pakistan controls roughly a third of Kashmir, whereas in... Oh, I didn't realise that they control a third of Kashmir. I thought it was all Indian territory. So that's interesting. You, you learn something new every day, then no wonder there's a lot of conflict there. India controls <clears throat> the rest. Kashmir Valley, Jammu, and Ladakh. Yeah. Casualties and losses. India, 1,100-plus soldiers killed. Pakistan, 6,000-plus soldiers killed. That's a lot of that's a lot of people being killed, guys, in that area. That's a lot. Number five, Indochina War of 1962. Hang on. So those numbers was just for one year, guys, that we know of. That is crazy, man. The Indochina War was a war between China and India that occurred in 1962. Again, guys, my history on uh, wars within that region is um, is very limited. I didn't even know China and India were at war in 1962. Just didn't know about it. So, uh, yeah, pardon my ignorance, guys. But, you know, I'm learning along the way as well. So this is interesting. I like this video. A disputed Himalayan border was the main pretext for war. But other issues play a role. A series of violent border incidents occurred after the 1959 Tibetan uprising. That's, that ain't good, guys. That ain't good. No one wants to see stuff like this happening. When India had granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. Yeah, yeah. The war ended when China declared a ceasefire on 20 November 1962 and simultaneously announced its withdrawal to its claimed line of actual control. The Indochina War was also noted for the non-deployment of the Navy or Air Force by either the Chinese or Indian side. Ah. So they didn't deploy they didn't deploy any air or sea assets at all. That is very interesting. There's got to be a very strategical reason for that. Obviously it was a border so there'd be no um, ships but air support. I wonder why. Result of the war, Chinese victory. Right, okay. Territorial changes. China captures Aksai Chin. Casualties and losses. India, 3000 plus soldiers killed. That's a heavy hit then. 3,000 for um, India. One year, 700 for China. That's a shame, guys. China, 700 plus soldiers killed. 
Number 4. Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 Again. The 17-day war caused thousands of casualties on both sides and witnessed the largest engagement of armored vehicles and the largest tank battle since World War II. Whoa, I didn't know that. That is insane. So these two countries fighting against each other, the largest tank battle gone since the World Wars. That's crazy, guys. We don't even realize that these wars actually took place as well, you know, because me from England, if you, unless you've studied history, military history, you're probably not going to know about these things. And that wasn't that long ago either, guys. It's a shame, really, that these wars had to take place. 17 days, all of that atrocity, terrible. India lost around 540 square kilometers of land, primarily in Rana of Kutch. That's a lot of land. While Pakistan lost around 1,800 square kilometers. Hostilities between the two countries ended after a United Nations mandated ceasefire was declared. Okay, so the UN stepped Result? in. Inconclusive. Both sides claim victory. United Nations mandated ceasefire. No permanent boundary change. Right. So, what I'm reading from that is no permanent boundary changes, all those lives lost for nothing, really. Casualties and losses. Neutral claims. India, 3,000 plus soldiers killed. 150 plus tanks lost. Wow. 60 plus aircraft lost. Jesus. Pakistan, 3,800 plus soldiers killed. 250 plus tanks lost. 20 aircraft lost. That's incredible. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Number three, India China military conflict of 1967. Wow. Guys, the thing is that's shocking me is. The wars that seem to come in quick succession after each other, um, it's. Yeah, it's taken me back a bit by surprise, that. I didn't even realize that, man. Well, it was not a war, but a conflict. Conflict. Conflict location. Nathula and Chola, on the border between China and Sikkim. Mm. Result, Indian victory. China was pushed back from Sikkim. Okay. Casualties and losses. India, 88 soldiers killed. China, 340 soldiers So, killed. again, nowhere near as much, but it was classed as a conflict, as a pause of war. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, that's still a lot of people to die. Number 2, Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. So, they're at it again. During the war, Indian and Pakistani militaries simultaneously clashed on the eastern and western fronts. The war ended after the Eastern Command of the Pakistan military. Wow, hang on, I'm just gonna have a look at that again there. So to the left we've got obviously we've got West Pakistan and then East Pakistan, India right bang in the middle. These borders guys, no wonder there's conflicts, you know. Um to shame man. Eastern Command of the Pakistan military signed the instrument of surrender on 16 December 1971 in Dhaka marking the formation of East Pakistan as the new nation of Bangladesh. Right, okay. Result, decisive Indian victory. Yeah, yeah, it's... Territorial changes. Right, okay, so Eastern East Pakistan, Front. Bangladesh, that's how that all East came Pakistan about. Didn't know that. Bangladesh. Western Front. Indian forces captured around 5,795 square miles of land in the West. Yeah. but returned it in the 1972 Simla Agreement as a gesture of goodwill. That's cool. That's good. Casualties and losses. India, 3,000 plus soldiers killed. What? One naval ship lost. 45 aircraft lost. So, air, the had, had quite a few big hits in the air support. One ship lost, which is, you know, these things cost millions of pounds, so that's bad. But it's the numbers, guys. Over the years, 3,000 more soldiers it's a Pakistan, shame. Pakistan, 9,000 plus soldiers killed. What? 90,000 plus soldiers captured. What? Seven naval ships lost. 90,000 soldiers captured. 75 aircraft lost. Wow, that's a big defeat. Hang on a minute. So, where did these soldiers go? Were they prisoners of war then? Is that what happened though? Number one, Cargill War. The Cargill War, also known as the Cargill Conflict, was an armed conflict between India and Pakistan that took place between May and July 1999 in the Kargil district of Kashmir and elsewhere Kashmir. along the line of control. The cause of the war was the infiltration of Pakistani soldiers disguised as Kashmiri militants into positions on the Indian side of the LOC. Result, decisive Indian victory. Wow, okay. That's 
That's cool. Casualties and losses. India, 520 plus soldiers killed. Pakistan, 1,000 plus soldiers killed. Wow, guys. So, they say you learn something new every day. And today, I feel as if I've learned quite a bit on the wars fought by India, 1947 to present. Um, it's probably not even hitting on all of the little conflicts that happened around the borders as well. I'm, I've been made aware that um, Kashmir is always busy as well. So, it's a shame to hear about losses on either side, guys, all right? In a world where we should be fighting for peace, not fighting for war. Um, but that is what it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed learning about the wars fought by India since 1947. At least now when you're talking to me via Discord and other recommendations and stuff, I'll understand a lot more about um, the wars that actually took place. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And join the Discord if you want to chat to me or recommend any other videos. Okay, guys? But other than that, thanks for stopping by. Peace. Have a wonderful day.